cup of tea. Cup of tea. Mm. 99, good as any. Mm. Couple of box openings, you know. Uh, first one I've got to mention is, uh, which I will mention, is um, tobacco pipe collector Mike, who sent me um, <coughs> a few things. Cajun cake. It's quite nice. McKellen's Dark Star. Uh, Night Train by Conan Deal. Um, Mike, cheers man. Brilliant. Superb. Just a coincidence. It's called Mike's Cigars. Matches. These. That's really nice. It's like a satin chrome heavy paperweight skull. That's superb Mike. That is really good. Prior to starting this video I was speaking on the Wi-Fi to Jason Dagner. As you may understand now they're back on US soil and they're a bit lethargic and a bit tired. They still haven't shaken off the bug that they had so they're still not quite well. He's got a trail through quite a bit of footage and he's got some good stuff I'm pretty sure of it. We were talking about the tour and Denmark, UK, Nottingham, Ireland he was telling me he'd been to the Peterson factory, some great stuff there happened by the sound of it, superb. He had real Guinness, which is great. Which leads me into this. Now, <clears throat> when he was in this house, which was not that long ago, amazingly, he was in this room, surrounded by all this object doll. Um, but when he was in the kitchen, he surprised me by gifting this pipe to me, which is a Peterson Kelly range, which is really hard to find, as I found out myself. Uh, I just gave up. And the reason being, because these are only made for Cup of Joes exclusively. Um, the name based on the lady who works there, Kelly. So, you know, these are quite hard sought after Peterson pipes. And I was really chuffed that he gave me this. I was really amazed. It's a beautiful, like a rosewood graining on the bowl rim. Black sandblast. Like a Sherlock Holmes sort of shape. With this separated by this nickel band, which has got the word Kelly on it. Um, I've got it filled with Limerick by Dan Tobacco, also from Jason. So, for the rest to take note. Tampa by me. I made this from uh, one of the ones with the tools built in. This all this tube was all dented up, so I just stuck that skull on it, and uh, there you go. It's there's no weight to this pipe whatsoever. It's like. It's a featherweight pipe. The perfect clenching pipe. One of the very few pipes that I can I can talk with. You right? You right. Um I have another box arrive that I can't really say much about. The person in question knows why. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm not going to tell you where it's from, who it's from. Thank you. Um, but it's to say thank you, thank you for the samples of tobacco. And these art supplies.
Oh. Suppose there's a clue. There's a clue. Anyway, I'm going to say nothing else. I can't. Thank you. To who it may concern. And they know who they are. Uh, okay. Who else was I going to say? Oh yeah, Mark. Pipe Smoker, 1969. Um... Zombie films, Zombie 2, Zombie Flesh Eaters, as it was called in the UK. Uh, I'll just show you my two versions. I'll, t I'll tell you what, I'll show you my three versions of that movie that I've got. I'll go and get them now. They're in the uh, pantry where all the horror genre is. So I'll just go and get those and show you. Uh, before I go... Uh, I'm pondering about Dunhill Man UK, yes, um, M-I-A, A-W-O-L, where, I don't know, quite concerned, because you know, it could be something bad, yeah, it could be, it could be quite bad, anyway, I'm going to go get these movies, so I'll be back in a minute. Another one, I had a fourth, which was a very, very early copy of it on DVD, which had the original zombie there, just on the cover of it, and it was, I think it was signed by Ian McCulloch, I think that's a Dutch version, and this is, got a soundtrack in there, so... <coughs> Not remastered as far as I know, but it's got an audio section with all the variants of the soundtrack and the theme tune, um, disco mixes and all sorts. Quite unusual. There's the Bill Lustig Blue Underground one, which is the single disc. Um, that's the first copy I got. 
Uh, that is the remastered version by Blue Underground label. Beautifully packaged, menus fantastic, uh, stunning quality, Region 1 US. But, but the penultimate version is this one, the 25th anniversary edition on Shriek's show. And that is something else. It's uh, this is the one that I, I've told you here to look out for because it's available very very cheap now. Two discs. You get masses of extras um, inside the fantastic packaging reproduction poster. Obviously, Z O M B I. And it's also printed with a Fulci signature on it, if you can just get that there. So, I don't want to... And at the moment, it's um, on Amazon, really, really cheap. Cheaper than I paid. Region 1. Only Region 1. It's not available anywhere else. There you go. So, um, I'm going because I'm rambling on far too much. Both these are fully uncut with the eye splintering scene intact. You see the, you know, the splinter going in the eye. Uh, both remastered. In fact the quality is pretty shockingly outstanding. Um, When my cousin and I saw this, he, he was uh, couldn't cope with the the quality, like it was just made yesterday. Um, he said, "I'm not, not too sure how to like it because I prefer the old VHS one, which is a bit rough and ready around the edges." But in all honesty, um, it's this movie like you've never seen it. It's absolutely outstanding. Props. Don't inhale pipe tobacco. Not good. Zombies and pipes. What more can you want? Not a lot, I'll say. Right. Zombie pipe presenters. Still a lot more work to do on that. So you just have to wait. Uh, I'll speak to you again soon. Sweet smokes. Yes, 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 yes,